everyone. It's Colleen Kislick here again with another Nature Minute. And today we're going to talk about these big balls that I happen to be on this rose bush. They're called galls. And these galls actually house a little organism. It's a great example of symbiosis. Go ask your parents what that means, or maybe your teacher, maybe you already know what that means. It's two organisms that help each other. So in this case, this is a tiny little creature inside here that's found a warm place to stay for the winter time, and it's a rose bush, and they're living together, helping each other out. We have tiny little insects. When we talk about insects surviving the winter time, this is one way that some insects survive. They actually climb inside these plants and they chew away at them when they're at the larva stage and they secrete a special kind of saliva. Their saliva makes the rose bush grow a hardened shell. They get the rose bush to build themselves a very nice winter home. Now, wouldn't that be cool? You get somebody else to do the work for you and you get to stay snug and warm all winter. How about you get outside? See if you can find some galls. Now, there's not just galls on rose bushes. They're on willow trees. They're on goldenrods. And goldenrods are actually very special because of the name of the creature that likes to go in there. They're called the goldenrod ball gall fly. Say that 10 times four fast. And the ball gall fly lays its eggs on the goldenrod specifically so that it can make nice toasty little gall balls for the winter time so it can survive. And so the saliva of this little larva actually makes the goldenrod harden and build this little house for it. And if you look close right there, you can see a hole. Well, the birds also know that the goldenrod ball gall fly larva lives there in the winter time and they enjoy having it for a tasty treat. So get outside and find out some cool things like insect survival in the winter time. See you later. Woo!